Good evening, guys, and welcome back to America's Freedom Media. I'm your host, The Angry American. Tonight, I've got a story about Robert E. Lee, and this story was sent to me by a shipmate of mine that I served with in the Navy from New York. And it really saddens me to see that this is uh, taking place up there. You see, General Robert E. Lee had a long and distinguished career in the military, in the United States military, I might add. He was a war hero from the Mexican-American War, where he served with distinction and honor in that war. He also led the uh, Marine assault at Harpers Ferry, Virginia, to retake the Federal Armory that was captured by John Brown, an abolitionist from the Jayhawk state of Kansas. While serving as a captain in the United States Army, Robert E. Lee was stationed at Fort Hamilton in New York from 1842 to 1847. While there, outside of a church located on the uh, fort's property, he planted a maple tree. And in 1912, April 1912, the United Daughters of the Confederacy restored the tree and placed a plaque in front of it showing that Robert E. Lee had planted the tree while he was stationed there and the diocese had planned on taking it down. This is the article my friend sent me and it's attributed to the New York Post. The South isn't the only place where Confederate monuments still exist. New Yorkers need only look to Brooklyn where a plaque honoring General Robert E. Lee has been affixed to a maple tree outside a church for more than 100 years. It won't remain much longer though. Diocese officials announced Tuesday that they would be removing the plaque following the events in Charlottesville, Virginia last week and renewed concerns over Confederate symbols and statues. I think it is the responsible thing to do, Bishop Lawrence Provenzano of the Episcopal Diocese of Long Island told Newsday. People for whom the Civil War is such a critical moment, particularly the descendants of former slaves, shouldn't walk past what they believe is a church building and see a monument to a Confederate general, he said. On August 16, 2017, around 10.30 a.m., the plaque was removed from the church's property. I'm going to let you watch the video clip that I have of them removing it, and we'll be back to talk to you some more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bishop Lawrence Provenzano of the Episcopal Diocese of Long Island. The reason we are here today, it has been brought to our attention, of course, that this, this plaque remained on the property of uh, a church building that has belonged to the Diocese of Long Island for uh, a very long time. And we became aware of the fact that the plaque dedicating a tree planted by General Robert E. Lee, stationed here at Fort Hamilton uh, in the 1840s, could be and was offensive to members of this community. Bishop, I find it highly offensive that, that you would even entertain the notion of removing this uh, last week black and monument. Months, the rhetoric that is part of our American culture today, uh, it became very clear to all of us that uh, this reminder of the uh, oppressive nature of a time in our history that really needs to be righted you can't go back in time and write church property. history. That no one you can should only walk learn by from here, it. particularly you especially members can't of the African make something that happened years ago right those by who destroying were the victims it. of slavery. This is classic uh, Marxism. Be the blacks of, always of have past. to be the oppressed, and the whites always have to be the oppressor. This is nothing more than vandalism and revisionist history. It's Marxism. The church should be ashamed of themselves for doing this. You see, not all black Americans agree 
with getting rid of the monuments because they understand exactly what it means. It's a revisionist history and nothing more than Marxism and trying to destroy American history and American culture. The gentleman whose picture you see now is called the Black Rebel. That's the name he goes goes by when he's out protesting the fact that these monuments are being removed. In any event, thank you so much for watching my video and I really appreciate it. I truly appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to get notifications, don't forget to click the notification bell.